it's a crowd. Uh, for me, it's really special. I think more special than for everyone else because I was the one who got the sponsor involved because it was my former club sponsor years ago. And the first three times we jumped in Cologne in front of the cathedral, then we got banned because we were too loud. And so the church pushed us outside and luckily Aachen was the city to keep up that tradition. And now jumping between those cathedrals is just a fantastic thing. It was too loud because the, the, the pole voters could choose their music like today? Yeah, it was the music and it was the crowd. When we did it the first time in Cologne, we had more than 10,000 spectators just for pole vault. And it was such a big crowd. And of course, it was loud. People were drinking beer that the guy running the church, you know, was not really happy about it. Even though there were a lot of young people, he just said, sorry, that's not what we want. We got another two chances, but then it was just too much. And finally, we started the whole thing here. And to be honest, it was a lot more complicated here because of the angle and the runway and everything. But finally, it was worth it because to have more than 5,000 spectators, now actually, year after year, it's saying everything. They love it. And we love it because the crowd is so special. Because towards the dome, it goes a little bit uphill. Is that right? Actually, it's not uphill, but the thing is, it's a difference of nearly one meters and 50. And they have to build a wooden runway just to level it. And then everything that we need to jump comes on top of that runway that is already one meter and 50 high. So it's really complicated and nowhere in the world there's something like that. It's a really pole vault ramp. Uh, if you see such crowd and uh, the music and everything, it, did it bring pole vaulting more to the audience? Yeah, I think it's time that athletic is changing a bit more. And when I see that they always blame the rules for having no spectators in the big stadium, actually it's wrong. They just have to get a different age into the fascination of track and field. And if you do something like that in the middle of a city, I think you reach a lot more than changing uh, from six attempts to four attempts because that is making no one happy because things are over a lot faster and no one wants a tennis match that is over in 30 minutes. People want to see fights for three hours. And for, and for you now, how many times did you participate here? I don't know, I think every year we had that meeting I was here and I think including the meetings we had in Cologne, it's now actually 10 years, yeah. And did you ever win it? Well, I won Cologne, but I never won Aachen. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking too much of winning it that I put too much pressure on my own shoulders. Because today you were actually a little bit injured, but you still decide to jump. Yeah, a little bit injured is actually a compliment. I mean, I did not jump for five full weeks, and it was a high risk to jump here again because actually I'm running with one leg and not with two legs. And so, it was a high risk and I'm happy that I can travel in my holiday with not even a bigger injury, but finally it was worth it. I enjoyed it. For you now, I think it's about the end of the season or not? Yeah, it's my last meeting. I could do another meeting, but I'm not fit enough. I think I'll keep that meeting in my mind when I start my preparation for next year in September again. You have already a long career, you're still the, the national uh, record holder of Germany in yeah. Volvo. Is there still something missing in your career or are you a, a happy athlete? Actually, I'm a happy athlete, but of course an Olympic medal is missing. I took part four times and every single time I was yeah, top three in the world, but I never managed to do a medal. And when I as well think of my friend Renz Blom, he won the World Championships outdoor and I never made a medal in a World Championship outdoor. I mean, I was fourth, I was fifth, I won it indoors, I won the European Championships a couple of times, but never the global. And uh, actually, I don't care, but you know, my family would have loved to see me on a podium because I think I would have deserved it. And now? Uh, I don't mind, I just enjoy to jump. <laughs> Ich kann es nicht so leicht verletzen, ja? Nee, nee, das ist das.